Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show you a fun watercolor technique using the Stampin' Write markers and watercolor paper. Now <clears throat> for my palette I'm using a piece of window sheet. You could use anything um, you know that's got a hard surface, saran wrap, um, a tray, something that you can put color onto, get wet, and and then clean off. So it doesn't matter what you're going to use. Um, but the window sheets work great. I'm also using some stays on ink and I'm using the Happy Easter Bunny. Now you could use any stamp you wanted. It just happens to be um, close to Easter and I'm, I'm working on some Easter Bunny things right now today. So I'm just going to ink that up. And this is um, watercolor paper. So I'm going to stamp the bunny. Kind of set him aside so he can dry a little bit. <clears throat> now I kind of want to leave the center a little bit um, lighter and I am using um, kind of a variety of bright colors. So I've got Melon Mambo, um, Garden Green, Crushed Curry, and Wisteria Wonder. Kind of kind of going with the Eastery theme. Now you're just going to want to squiggle the colors on and like I said I'm going to kind of stay away from the center it actually is going to get colored too but for right now I'm going to stay kind of in a circle around the edges and just alternate these colors I don't have any idea what they're going to look like. Every one of these that you make does kind of um, turn out a little bit different. Maybe a little bit more yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to take my spritzer, and this is just plain water in here. Get these out of the way. I'm going to do a, whoops, make sure you're spritzing, of course, at the paper. Get it all smeary and watery. You'll notice that it's all pretty wet. <clears throat> then I'm going to lay my bunny down into the ink. Maybe even give him a little twist. So I make sure that I get, get him pretty covered. And then I'm going to take them up. Now you can see it's running a little bit. I'm just going to kind of dab off that run spot. You can also take um, a piece of paper towel or a tissue. So that's a quick and fun way to watercolor. It also works well with um, embossing, with embossing powder and the heat tool. Gives you a little bit more uh, definition of your, um, of your image when you go over it. But I think it's fun. It, 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 no two cards look alike and that's something that's always special to me that each card is unique and individual. So hope you have fun with this technique. and. Go ahead and send me some, some uh, pictures of your creations that you make with this fun um, smooshing watercolor technique. I'd love to see them. Thanks for stopping by the roost and I'll talk to you later. So once you have it dry, you end up with this cute um, Easter Bunny with the um, swirly watercolors behind him. Now it also works really well if you Rather than using the stays on, if you use Versamark ink and embossing powder and then emboss the bunny too, or whatever image you're using. Now you can just um, make whatever type of card you want with your watercolor piece that you've uh, created and use it, um, you know, use your imagination to come up with whatever card you want. This one, of course, is going to be an Easter card, and I'm just going to follow my colors that I've used in my um, watercoloring. 
for my card base and my my frame. And it just makes a soft um, watercolor look. So I hope you enjoy using this technique to make some fun watercolor cards.